In this video, we'll show you how to replace the print ribbon drive gear in the Star SP700 series POS printers. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. First, remove the print ribbon. And then we will remove this E clip that mounts the print ribbon carriage. Stick the small flathead screwdriver in there and pry it straight up to pull it out. Slide the print ribbon carriage to the left to get it off that mounting pin on the right. And then remove it from the mounting pin on the left. On the right hand side there's a small spring that attaches to that carriage. We'll slide that off. Move the print head all the way to the right, and we'll remove this E-clip on the front print head guide bar. and push the print head to the far left. And we'll slide that front print head guide bar out of its mounting hole on the right. We just need it to sit loose here on the right side. Next, we'll remove these two Phillips head screws on the plate that retains the ribbon drive gear. Carefully remove the plate. And we can now remove the print ribbon drive gear. This one is still intact. It's the bottom section of it. You may not need to replace this part. Here it is put together again. Now the bottom part here needs to fit into the hole here in the bottom. Put that in place. Now we can replace the plate. Carefully slip it back into place. And that back part of it needs to go under that black plastic arm to the left of it. This arm here needs to move freely. And we'll replace the two Phillips head screws.
And now we'll replace the front print head guide bar. It can only fit in one direction. It has a flat end. Get that to sit in place. Move the print head back to the far right. And replace the E-clip here on this end. Set it in place and push it down with the tip of the small flathead screwdriver. Push the print head to the far left. Now we need to hook that little spring again. You may need some needle nose pliers to help get it in place. Make sure it's connected to the hook on the bottom. Try to set it in place where it'll be easy to catch. Now hook that spring with the print ribbon carriage. And replace the print ribbon carriage on its mounting pins, first on the left. Then on the right. Push it to the far right. And make sure the carriage is mounted on this pin, like this. Now we'll replace the E-clip on the right side. Set it in place and push it down with the tip of the small flathead screwdriver. Now double check that this little black arm moves freely and that it actuates the carriage up and down. Making sure that that spring returns it to its position Replace the printer ribbon. Give it a little twist to tighten the ribbon. And you're done.